Hey all, if you are one of the 2.9 billion people worldwide who interact with Facebook on a monthly basis, and or if you are one of the 200 million businesses that have a business page, and you haven't heard about the SYS01, the SIS1 info stealer, then it's important you do, and I'm going to share some insights with you uh, to help you know why it's important you know about it. So a little bit of background on SIS01. Let's step back a uh, step or two. For those of you who don't know, the cyber criminals uh, are really weaponized with software as service, crime as a service tools that they can access on the dark web. And this particular exploit, uh, SIS01, happens to be one of them. It is highly impactive. Uh, it is a data breaching um, solution and it's easy to implement and it's very, very low cost for cyber criminals to get access to. And essentially what it does is it creates fictitious ads in the Facebook environment that are enticing enough for you to want to click. And once you click, it can hijack your browser information. It can look at your cache. It can exploit your cookies. All those security settings you have saved, including if you have a credit card on file, it then can gain access to. It can steal your credentials. It can take over your either personal profile or your business profile and do some pretty nefarious things. Um, so, you know, common sense tells us, right, when, <laughs> when we see an ad that seems too good to be true, it either is too good to be true or it isn't. And the surefire way to know is to do some independent research, right? So next time you see a Facebook ad that pops up and it's this incredible product at an incredible price, it could be legitimate. But before you decide to click on that ad and enter any information, do an independent search outside of Facebook. Look at what people are saying online. If you can't find anything, maybe post a comment in Reddit or maybe in your, you know, Facebook community and groups and friend base and everything else, asking other people, have you had experience with this? Because here's what this software does. Not just does it create convincing ads, it A-B tests those ads for what the most effective language is to get the most clicks. And those of you who have a marketing background, you know what A-B testing is. But for those of you who don't, in marketing campaigns, you always do a limited run qualitative study on messaging. And you might have two versions of an ad or a message that goes out. And you're measuring the engagement with each of those ads. And depending on how the engagement goes, you're going to focus on one or the other. So they're actually running A-B tests on these malicious ads find out which of them gets the most amount of clicks and that's where they're focusing their attention and their spend on. Um, but again, stealing credentials, hijacking profiles, gaining access to all of your browsing history, gaining access to credit cards if stored on file. Um, the other thing about SIS01 um, that is important to be aware of is it has the ability to evade virus protection software. It actually goes in and manipulates the code such that your virus software that you depend on to keep you safe can't see it. And it's constantly and dynamically making changes to that software so it remains elusive. And just like everything else we talk about here, the common sense rule is don't click. Do your research first. Just like when we talked about Scammers who are pretending to be government agencies that are doing outbound calls, scammers that are either posting, you know, ads um, for Microsoft or Apple or contacting you proactively saying your system's been infected and we can help. Maybe you get a pop-up on your computer screen with a phone number. No government agent is going to reach out to you proactively in that way and especially not ask you for money. Microsoft and Apple only service reactively, meaning unless you initiate the call, they're not going to proactively reach out to you. And they're certainly not going to ask you to go buy gift cards at the local Target, <laughs> which if you 
follow Kit Bolga and, you know, some of the other folks on YouTube, that's the core of their scam. They try to convince you, hey, um, you know, this is the way you can get payment to us right away. Go to Walmart and get $500, $2,000 worth of gift cards to whatever the store may be. Um, and in that same way, um, thinking before you click can save you time, money, aggravation. Your information is already accessible on the dark web. These tools are already accessible on the dark web. And unless we up our game from a cybersecurity perspective, personally and professionally in our businesses, we are vulnerable in ways that we've never been before. Let me give you another quick example. The relied um, malware that's out is a Chrome extension and Without clicking on anything else, if you install this Chrome extension, it gains access to all of your records, all of your cache of history, browsing history. More nefariously, it can take screenshots of your computer. And if you are a cryptocurrency investor, imagine that you're putting your login ID. That's a screenshot. You type in your password. That's a screenshot. You go into your account and your current wallet becomes visible. That's a screenshot. They now know who you are, how to get into your account, and how much money they can take from you just by way of this nefarious Chrome um, extension that can be installed. So, you know, it is time, folks, to up our game. It's time to get serious about protecting ourselves. Uh, it's time to understand the sophistication in the market that cyber criminals and bad actors are bringing. It's time to recognize that they're not lone actors. They're not, to quote a politician, 300 pound men sitting, you know, in their mom's basement hacking. Organized crime networks all throughout the world and especially in Southeast Asia, Russia, China, are behind these very sophisticated very professionalized attacks. This is their business, and it's a multi-billion dollar per year business that continues to grow. So wanted to get this update out. I'll have some more for you by the end of this week in terms of some other cybersecurity uh, developments and some updates. But again, if the ad looks too good to be true, it could in fact be. My name is Philip Manco. I appreciate you joining me, whether you're watching me on YouTube or listening on podcasts. Please be sure to like, please be sure to subscribe. Please stay, stay tuned into my channel because I promise to keep you armed with good information and help you stay abreast of all these things that in the busy world that we're in might not catch our attention, but definitely should. So hope you have an excellent day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope to see you on a future episode.